Welcome to the WSI Priority Media YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the Google Ads remarketing tag, what it is, why you need it, how to set it up, how to test it, and more importantly, how to grow your business as a result of using it. Hey, my name is Richard Cruz, the founder of WSI Priority Media, and I'm excited to be sharing with you today all about this retargeting tag that is used inside of Google Ad Manager. The reason why I'm so excited about it is because it is one of the most underused tools that I see anywhere. When I look into ad campaigns, one of the first things I do is I look at how well they're optimizing traffic and how well that they're using it and following up on hot, hot leads. And most of the time, I don't even see a remarketing tag used or if I see a remarketing tag that was maybe configured, I don't see it activated. I don't see it being um, actually built into the marketing campaigns. And it's just a huge waste of money. My gosh, I mean, you honestly ought to just go and take your wallet and you ought to just kind of rip a panel off of the side there. So every time you open it up, uh, money falls out. And that's really what's happening. If you're paying for Google ads and you don't have your remarketing tags that are configured and used correctly, you're paying way too much. And when you're in Google, Google Ads, look, the name of the game is how much can you afford to pay to acquire a customer? That really is the name of the game. And your competition and you, whoever has the greatest threshold is going to win long term and going to be able to scale in that business. And so if you're bleeding away cash, there's no way that you can ever achieve optimal levels of cost of acquisition. The remarketing tag is you, the secret sauce that takes your CPCs, right, your cost per click and your cost per conversion, and it brings it down because if you're using using a mass audience presence, which this will help you do, and you're retargeting, you bring those people back for pennies on the dollar. Look, you already paid for the click the first time. You might as well bring that click back to you, turn that into a customer, and that'll help you start driving the cost of your um, ad spend or the cost of your actually CPAs or your cost per acquisition down, down, down. So what it really is, it, it is a code. It is a snippet code that you build into Google Analytics and then Google Ads and Google Tag Manager. So the reason why very often it's not used is because it has a lot of moving parts that need to be configured correctly. What it also is, it's really, really smart. It is amazing how it just works on autopilot. It sniffs out hot visitors and allows you opportunity to be able to follow up with them. And what really it is, it is revenue, revenue, revenue. It is a huge um, way to be able to uh, bring up your revenue. And so why do you need it? This is really why you need it. You know, Google ads will go and it'll bring you leads, you know, and it will go up and down. But if you've got warm traffic that you've already generated and you're able to get in touch with that traffic and bring it back, you will see your revenue continue to grow with Google ads. And that's my goal. That's my desire from this video is to be able to help you do that. So let's go ahead and let's start off with uh, the, the good stuff. How to set it up. So you need to start you with your Google Analytics and I'm inside of the Google Analytics account here and what you want to do is you want to start off by linking your Google Anal Analytics with your ad account so you come into the property settings and then uh, what you'll do is you'll do a new link group right here and then what you'll do is you'll choose the ad account number and when you choose that particular ad account number in your case you know unless you're an agency obviously you're going to be uh, just choosing your ad account, uh, whatever it is, it'll it'll show up right there in the drop down, and then now it is it is connected. So that's step number one is to connect Google Analytics to your ad account. Then the second thing that you want to do now is you want to start creating your audiences. What, you, what I mean by that is you want to let it know who you're interested in. Retargeting is not retargeting. You can get very specific on who you want to remarket, how you want to be able to remarket. And so we're going to come in here and we're going to create an audience. In this particular case, if you look at this, let me go back one second. I already have an audience that is set up for all users here. So now 
what I want to do is I want to repeat. I want to go after repeat people. And so I want to go after returning users. I can go after a small list. I go after people who set up a specific goal. So some goals that I would recommend that you use is people that scroll over 75% and spend more than say a minute or two minutes or three minutes on your page. And they can all be goals and uh, people who watch videos on your website. So what you do is you actually say target, hey, people that were on my website for more than two minutes and that watched a video, that's hot, hot traffic. So in this particular case, I'm gonna say returning visitor, someone's coming back. I wanna make sure that I have 30 days right here and I'm gonna name this, you know, returning visitors. And then I'm gonna to go to the next step here. And then what I will do is I need to click on the Google Ads again, the, the destination. So I wanna click on that and then I wanna publish it. Now I've got the second piece of the audience where I've created my audiences and you can create as many audiences as you want right here. Just make sure that you that it is manageable, that your audiences that you're building in there you know, are ones that you want to target. So you don't create a set of audiences that are just sitting there. Have your audiences have a purpose. So once that's all set to go, what you want to do is now you want to create it to the tag. You want to connect your analytics to the tag. Remember, step one, we connected the Google Ads account to the Google Analytics account. Now the Google Analytics, we want to bring it up and put it inside of the tag manager. So I go to property settings and see this UA number right here. You want to highlight that UA number. So now inside of the tag manager, what we do is uh, we go into workspace in the tag manager and we hit new and we go through two steps of setting up the tag configuration. So what we wanna do is we wanna go in here and click on Google Ads Remarketing. And remember that code, it's a UA code from, from the other um, Google Analytics account. We wanna go ahead and we want to choose that and put it in here under uh, the conversion ID. Now, step number two, we want to add triggering and what it is that we want to do. So, you know, for example, you know, we have whatever triggers that we can build in here in this in this particular case. I'm just going to use all pages, people that are, you know, in those pages. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, save that and I'm going to back out of there. And now I have it all set up inside of my tag manager. Then the next step that I want to do is I want to go test it. I'm going to show you an example. I just went in and did a uh, Google search here and just using an example, I see their Google Analytics here. They have two different codes which typically is just creating jumbled garbage in there. Uh, you don't need two different Google Analytics codes, but their remarketing code is not even on their website. And their Google Tag Manager is not on their website. So this is a perfect example, like I told you, that what they're doing is they're paying a lot of money in the legal field for um, Google Ads. People are coming here, and we know that the average conversion rate is going to be about 5 to 7%. So that means that 90 some odd percent of people are bouncing and they know absolutely nothing about it and they're losing all that opportunity. So these are the steps right here, right? Uh, you know, connect your Google Ads account with your analytics account, connect your analytics account to connect it to your tag manager. From your tag manager, it's super easy. What you do inside of your tag manager, you just grab the code, put it up on the site. Very, very easy to do. We have another video that shows you how to be able to put that up and then you go Go to the uh, Tag Manager test tool. It's a Chrome plugin that you just literally uh, hit that on the site and it shows you that they're firing. You normally want them to be green and green is a really good thing. I hope that this information has been absolutely helpful for you today. I hope that you're able to increase the profitability of your Google Ads campaign by using the remarketing tags that Google allows you to be able to do, set them up and watch how your profitability will continue to grow by being a big fish in a small pond by having a big presence in front of your customers. Hey, if you're looking for an edge in digital marketing, we wrote the book, literally. It's called uh, Digital Minds, 12 Things Every Business Should Know About Digital Marketing. 
It is the number one book on digital marketing, and it is written by 12 of the top authors that are all WSI experts in the field. They're literally some of the best people in the in the industry, and um, you can buy it for 20 bucks on Amazon, or if you subscribe to this channel, I'm going to give it to you as my gift for free. There's a link below, so just like it here, hit subscribe, and then click on the link below, and um, you can get a digital copy sent to you right away. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Uh, please comment below, ask me any questions. I'd love to respond and get questions from you. Thank you for watching.